it's Esther and I'm coming to you from Paris <clears throat> where we're gonna visit uh, an exhibition at Kristen Burst Gallery, uh, Art Brut, Outsider Art. Um, and I just looked at it and it's kind of incredible. So I wanna share it with you. But I also wanna share this passageway that we're in. <clears throat> oh yeah, I usually do exploring creativity. This is exploring creativity, but exploring other people's art in a gallery space. Let's just go visit it together. Um, I probably won't comment that much because it's in a gallery space and people are engaging with the art, which is how it should be. And um, I hope you jump on and join for this exhibition because we're going to visit two exhibitions. The first one will be um, this artist Julius Bakelt. I pronounce it correctly, Julius Bockelt. And the other is a group show that's been curated by Nancy Houston, the writer. Um, amazing books if you've read any of them. Uh, lucky you. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm gonna turn this around because I'm actually in this gorgeous, again, a gorgeous courtyard, hallway, passage, Paris. Paris being super beautiful. So, um, yeah, let me turn you around so you can see too, and I can see what you see. All right, first of all, just check this out really quickly. Just really quick, crazy guns made of corks. All right, just get a quick look. Maybe I'll take a picture and post it later. But here we have the courtyard, the passage, no, it's a passage that goes from behind me to in front of me, and we have Christian Burst Gallery here, Art Brut and his other section is the bridge and yes he does outsider art outsider art is usually people who um aren't in the art world you know outsiders sometimes they have a little bit of a i don't know look it up i'm not an expert at defining these things so here we go people everywhere have to put on the mask so here we go into the space Pretty groovy space. Look at everybody wants to be here. Look at first of all, here we go. Christian Burst Gallery, and this is the art we're going to be looking at. Julius Bockelt. He's German, and he is oh about 36 years old. Okay, um, I can't really tell you tons of things about him, which is really not the way I do this anyway. But he took a great interest in clouds early on, like when he was about 12. So then he started photographing clouds and then moved to bubbles. So, okay. Anyway, we're gonna walk around over here. Many, many fabulous books. If you come to Paris, Christian Burst Gallery, I highly recommend it. Here we go. Here is a great example. I'm just gonna go around, pull back, enjoy and I'm gonna tell you these straight lines there's no rulers involved I probably will repeat that multiple times pretty nice huh pretty nice this is what this guy does there's also um, music and sound he works with. I don't know as much about that. In fact, I don't know much about anything. I mean, you're doing a good job. See this? I swear, look at this. Straight lines. Straight, straight, straight. No ruler involved. Can you get a load of that? Look at that. So, cloud inspired, maybe. Stripes. Ooh. I'm afraid we might have trouble with this because the Wi Fi is nowhere near what it needs to be. Okay, let's see. Let's give it a try again. Might speed up a little. Hopefully, we'll stay connected. Let's go over where there's nobody. There's all sorts of places where there's nobody. Come over this side.
And again, it's all done by hand. We may be able to see the video, a moment of the video. Look at the way he deals with space. Allowing that much space, empty space on the paper. Making it all the more powerful, or in my opinion. Let's go over, have a look over here. Oh yes. This is a man who thinks outside of the box. All those wires and sound. You're probably not going to get a great sound connection, so I'm just going to take you over to look at some more art. The music and the man. The sound and the man. Let's go in. And if it looks a little bit cockeyed, it's because it is. It's not square. It's exactly the size it needs to be. Uneven. Well, we can now get the cloud connection. The cloud and the lines. So now it starts to make sense how he connects these two areas. A photo of clouds and a drawing. Now you see it. And now you see it again. Again. Mm. We're afraid that we keep unconnecting, which is a bit of a problem. So we're going to do as quick as we can across the back, across the back, hopefully staying connected. Can stay connected as well as we can. I'm terribly sorry about this. I'm so disconnected. Let's give a quick look around. Now we've had some good quality close-ups. I'll take pictures and post them so that you can actually see them better. Look at that. Look at that fragmenting he does. It's really hard to go quicker. It's so much more interesting to really look at these. It's very... Um, like meditative and therapeutic and just generally makes, I don't know, makes me feel good looking at them. But everybody's got their own, their own styles of what makes you feel good. Mm, look at this, look at this. Because it's on one white piece of paper, just like that. And it's this little spaced, yeah. Yeah, I love the blue too. He did green, he did red, but it's that blue, kind of like that Arctic show we went to a couple months ago. Women making art in the Arctic. There's a lot of blue, kind of makes you feel good. Anyway, let's see if we can go next door. Let's see if we can go next door. Isn't it a beautiful space? Absolutely gorgeous space. Don't you wish you were here? I'm taking you here. Okay, see, he does the red. Let's go next door and have a quick look, since we're here, at the exhibit called Monstre, which is known as Monster. Monster, here. We'll give you a little bit of a close-up so you could always pause it and translate anything you want to. Julius Bocquet. I'm gonna cross through. Woo. Look at all these people. Oh. It's so happening. It's such a thing. Let's do a little quick look around. Woo. And we're looking at 
monstre. Monster, like Frankenstein, like that hidden inside of us, like that wanting to come and suck us into it. I actually could probably translate what she wrote, but that becomes a little bit academic. It's a very different looking show than what we just saw. But you know, the other, the Dr. Jekyll and the Mr. Hyde. We always love a bit of Dr. Jekyll. Look at this one. I'm really crazy about this one. They have, these artists all have different names. I actually wrote his down. I'm like, this guy. I don't know. I wrote it down. I could tell you who it is. Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. I'm going to get a piece of paper that says who everybody is. Let's just do it that way. Paper. Prices. Who it is. And we start with... Hélène Delprat. José Manuel Egea. Both of these. Now she is speaking about that one over there. So we're going to move over here because I like to look at art where there's nobody. Michel Nijar. This is so cool, look at this piece. Like Jabba the Hutt kind of thing. The little Jedi's. Luke, you are my son. And that is also, this is Georges Alberto Cadi. For a mere 8,000 euros. Check it out. So fun, isn't it? written in Italian. So my guess is peligrosa. Doesn't that mean uh, dangerous? So my guess is that's what we got. Now this guy is a really famous French. Gerard Garoust. Him you can come across all sorts of places. In fact they don't even tell you how much it costs because he's a big guy. He's a big player. La force. Look at it. If you go in close it's so thick. It's this really nice thick. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but the thickness of the black is incredible. Dripping down. That is definitely a childhood monster waiting to happen. Where those wild things are. We're back. I went outside. See if I can get my connection again. We only have a couple more over here. And I'm going to take you I can't imagine you're still hanging on though because we, you know, clicked off a few times. Anyway, this was the guy that I went to get the thing for. Let's look at him very quickly. It's Eugene Gabrichevsky. What do you think? Do you think he's Russian? I think I know this guy. I think he like dresses up in different ways. But you, you can look him up. Eugene Gabrichevsky. We could probably find out more about him. The vast universe of the internet. What do we have here? We have... Um, oh, no, 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 no. We have to come back here. Because that is Tomasz Maczynski. Tomasz Maczynski. From 94. While this is Eugene Gabrichevsky. It's pretty nice. They're both nice. I did like that Tomasz Maczynski. Don't know if you guys will have been able to hold on for all of this on live bits, but I think it's rather beautifully printed. 1943, this is an older piece. Okay, I mean, I don't know how well you can see how beautifully it's painted. It looks like gouache. Gouache with a bit of pen and ink, pen, ink, ink. Oh, that's why I would guess. Actually, what does it say? It says what it is. Oh yeah, gouache, gouache on paper. Look at these cool little things. If I waited around, the artist would come and tell me what it is. This is again, Chloe Poisat, fossils. 
she did um, she did uh, the piece behind us. It's very different. She did this. Oh, we're back on. Haha. <laughs> it's terrible. This whole connection thing and disconnection thing. I have no idea how it's actually going to come out. But anyway, this artist is also this artist. So let's go a quick look at that. Hopefully we'll not get disconnected. And then let's come over here and look at these again because they're actually kind of cool. I don't really necessarily want to come anything about them because it'll be in French and you won't understand. It also might be, I don't know, it might be interesting. I'll tell you. They look like cigarette stubs. But they're bigger. Look at it. You can see. Okay. There's my hand, and there's the size of what they are to give you an idea. All right. Oh, yes. Let's look at this one. This one is, I think, maybe my favorite. Hopefully, we'll stick. Ah, it warmed up. Connection is again. Let's go look at this. I guess let's go look at this together. Woo. Let's go look at something other than the floor and my shoes. This. Lionel Sabaté. Let's look at it a little closer. Okay before you click out and we have no connection. Sorry about that, guys. I have no idea how that's gonna end up turning out as a video. Look at it, I mean, it's gross and beautiful, isn't it? When's it from? 2009, plaque de medium found partially cleaned and varnished. I mean, who knows what the hell this is, but isn't it beautiful? Art is in the eye of the beholder. Art is art when it's pinned on a gallery wall or in someone's house. Anyway, okay, we're gonna go outside and say goodbye. Even if you're still there. I can't even imagine you're still here. But let's do it. Let's go out. Let's see all the people. Let's go to the left, right. Look at, they're all having such a good time. Let's go. Let's go, let's turn around. Turn you all around. Okay, here we are. I can take off my mask. Huh, so did you have a good time? Okay, well, let's do this right here. That's a good backdrop. Actually, there's all good backdrops. Wait a minute, I'm gonna turn you all around because this is amazing out here. Even though there's probably nobody here. Oh wait, there's one person, okay. Look at that. You know, maybe we should just walk out on the street a little bit and see what's going on. Look at all that flaggy tree stuff. Holy heck. There's like beautiful stuff. This is uh, very old. I've been here before and drunk very good beer when they're selling it from a little stand. Okay, and this is also totally cool. I mean, it make good backdrop, but it also, oh, 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 oh. Can you see how pink that is up there? Look at that beautiful pink. Pink building, pink building with gray, white, black below. Gorgeousness. Okay, lots of gorgeousness happening here. Thank you. I think it's time to turn off. But you know, I'm gonna bring you all the way down to the other side because I don't even know if you're there. You're probably not there, but it's so cool to check it out. Here, look at, look at that. Just look. And I'm gonna show you what the road is that it goes on to. Through all this dark. Woo! Look at all that. This is just gorgeous, crazy stuff. Go. Low battery, low Wi-Fi connection. Everybody's busy because it's a Saturday. There's the thing, and this is on Rue Oh, hey, anyone need a suitcase? It's on Rue Gravelier, which we could totally walk around, but I'm gonna sign off, because it's the way it is. All right, guys, here we go. Take it easy, stay connected, stay connected to people. I don't know what to say. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't imagine you stayed on because it broke off multiple times, but if you did, it's pretty great, huh? Christian Burst, it won't be the last time we go there. Maybe I'll bring you along. Okay, lots of love, ciao.